Hello, my name is Jay, and recently I've been buying a couple used graphics cards. I want to make a video explaining the do's and don'ts, what to look for, and why you should be getting a used graphics card. So first of all, number one, the biggest thing I want to talk about is everybody's saying don't get any used graphics cards. And in fact, no matter, even if you got them from miners, there's a couple good situations where they'll probably be fine for what you're doing. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is why you should be getting used graphics cards. So maybe you're trying to, I don't know, cut down some of the prices, you're trying to get like a temporary graphics card that will only be with you for maybe a year to maybe half a month and that's what you're planning on using it for as a temporary graphics card and then that would be fine. The biggest issue when it comes down to used graphics cards is longevity. You're probably looking at a shortening, even if they're an extremely heavy miner that run the card 24-7, you're still looking at around a f maybe half-life decrease. So if the card's only three, month, three years old um, or it's only just released this year and it's three years old and you're probably looking pretty good so one of the biggest things i want to talk about if you're looking to get a card permanently there's a couple of tricks you can actually do to keep a good uh you know way to determine how these cards or where to get these cards and how well the card was taken care of so the biggest thing i want to talk about is my experience with getting this graphics card so this is a used card this is actually like two or three years old it's a 660 or something but my point being is this card, if you just got the card alone, I'd be a little bit concerned because, you know, the card seems like, you know, it's got some dust in it. It looks like it was run pretty heavily. But what I want to keep note is I actually have the box with the instructions and everything else in here. Now I have some of the other components for this this mess over here. I actually have the the shroud for the this this lovely thing right here. Because this is my project in the making. So we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that. But I have the whole box and all the instructions, and I bought all that for whatever I bought it for back whenever I got it. Well, my point being is if someone takes the time and effort to keep the box with them, and you can get the box with the graphics card in the original box, especially for miners, it's really difficult to store all these massive amount of boxes. And if you're heavily working the graphics cards and you're just getting more and more, which is the only, which is an extremely high trend with miners, they completely throw out the boxes because there's no use. So if you can get a graphics card with a box, you're pretty much, you know, guaranteed that the person at least took care enough and you know thought highly enough of their graphics card to at least save it you know maybe resale and they're not necessarily going out and you know uh putting a lot of like it feels like they took care of it now another thing i want to talk about is why you shouldn't get a high-end graphics card if you're paying more than five hundred dollars for a used graphics card and that i mean like a 10 ati or a titan that's what I. That's when you probably should consider just getting a brand new one or getting the model down because the high-end graphics cards are really hit hard right now with the cryptocurrency mining, and so if you're out there and you're trying to go buy a graphics card, and you know you want to get these high-end cards, yes, you can save up a little bit more and get that, but it's not really worth the issue of these cards. Some of these cards, especially, I would also say the blower style cards are a lot more safer in this situation because the. Um, the miners tend to get the non-blower style cards because they have higher clock speeds and they also tend to overclock them with the um, special coolers and stuff. So if you're getting a blower style high-end card, that would probably be a little bit more safer, actually a majority bit safer. Now, the final thing is if you're getting a card and it's blower style and everything else and you want to get a 1080 Ti or something like that, and you want to get like the full blower style, I just say save up and get the model up and save, save up and get the model you can buy or save up and get the model above uh, and actually buy it brand new because when you get into the high end market with the specialized fans and the high clock speeds, that's where you're really getting into territory of people overclock it to useless potential and especially when they're mining and you're really getting in a dangerous situation where the card may only last you one or two years. And if that's fine with you, then yes, but for the matter of fact, you know, if you're I mean, this card probably won't sit in here for maybe four years, tops. And my point being is the card itself will probably last two years. But if you're going to upgrade in two years, then it might be worth it. But still, again, get a brand new card. And so that, that way it doesn't break on you and you can probably resell it as well. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this explanation of what to watch out for, please give, a, please give the video a like. I appreciate it. And, of course, tell me down in the comments what you thought. If you're interested in the kind of stuff I do on this channel, which is pretty much solely this, then make sure you guys check out my channel if you're interested. Subscribe. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.